Hello and good morning! After having enjoyed the first few warm spring days of the year, the weather took a turn at the beginning of last week and it's been cold, wet and gloomy all week. This change in weather has put a serious damper on my mood and it's really taken a toll on my productivity as well. I've been feeling so tired all week, I've had no motivation for anything, but today I want to steer the ship around and make sure that next week will be a whole lot better. So we're gonna spend the day getting some things done that I have let pile up over the week, such as laundry and cleaning. But I also want to make time for some self-care to make sure that I start into the new week relaxed and ready. Anytime I'm in a slump, it really helps me to make a plan. Writing lists specifically has always been the most effective way for me to clear my head. And it also gives me a sense of calm because I know exactly what my next steps are gonna be and things are no longer floating around in my head. That always gives me such a boost and motivation as well. So I wanna start this reset by planning out my next week. First though, I'm gonna make myself a cup of hot chocolate. By the way, I've recently discovered caffeinated hot chocolate. It contains guarana seeds, which are rich in caffeine. I believe they are often found in energy drinks as well. I just really like this as an alternative to coffee if I want a bit of a pick-me-up in the morning or in the afternoon. So I'm gonna make myself a nice warm drink and then I'm gonna sit down and plan my week. I like to start by reviewing the past week, so writing down any memorable events that happened, successes I've had, things I've been grateful for, but also any lessons I've learned. Then I go into planning the week ahead, checking if I have any appointments coming up, writing down my goals and to-dos for the week, as well as the list of the habits I want to focus on. Next I'm gonna get in some movement. When I'm feeling low in energy, moving my body is often the last thing I want to do. But working out can actually be a powerful tool to get you out of a rut. Because exercise triggers the release of endorphins, also known as feel-good hormones. And even though this might seem counterintuitive, exercise can actually increase your energy because it strengthens your heart, increases your endurance and improves the quality of your sleep. If I'm feeling super unmotivated to work out, it's usually a sign for me that I need to switch things up a bit, try out a new exercise or change my workout routine. I've recently started weight training again after I haven't taken a break from it for a while and now I'm really excited about my workout sessions again. So my current workout split is 2-3 to three weightlifting sessions per week. I usually alternate between upper and lower body, plus 2-3 to three indoor bike rides, which is also something I've only started doing recently, plus the partner acrobatics class I go to every Thursday. And, also very important, I try to stretch at least once every day, either in the morning or evening, sometimes I do both. I finished my workout, which means it's time for breakfast. I'm actually quite excited because I finally have a bit of time to try out a new recipe that I found on Instagram last week. It's a recipe for protein French toast. I mean, how delicious does that sound? I've never made it before, so I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, but let's just give it a try.
I've had my breakfast, now it's time to give my apartment a bit of a clean. You know what? Cleaning definitely is my least favorite chore. But I know I'll feel a lot better starting into the new week if my apartment isn't a mess. The state of my apartment definitely has an impact on my mental well-being. I always notice that my mind feels a lot more sluggish and foggy when my apartment is cluttered. To make the task more enjoyable, I either listen to uplifting music, an interesting podcast or an audiobook. While I clean, I open up the windows to let in fresh air. And another thing I like to do at the end is either light candles or use a few spritzes of room spray to really freshen up the atmosphere. The cleaning is done, now it's time for some self-care. I think it's important on a reset day like this to reserve at least a little bit of time for self-care. Because how often do we spend our weeks running from one appointment to the next or trying to tackle as many to-dos on our lists as we can? And that's fine, you know, we are trying to crush our goals and of course we have our daily obligations. But I still think it's important to carve out a bit of space from time to time to do nothing. At least nothing that's on a to-do list. Taking a bit of time to do things that bring us joy simply for the sake of doing them. For this video, I did plan what I want to do, but usually I'll decide spontaneously what I feel like doing. That could be making music or baking, watching TV. I think it can be pretty much anything. That being said, I'm gonna run myself a bath now and while the tub is filling up, I'm gonna apply this face mask. It's a cleansing clay mask from one to three. I bought this recently and I really like it. It always leaves my skin feeling super soft. 